Welcome back to my channel, Soldiers of Jesus and Mary. And I have another poem for you. And this poem uh, is called The Church is Jesus. And it starts like this. The Church is Jesus Christ. He established it and gave us words that have maintained alive. The Church has given us everything we have. The Church has fed us the most delicious banquet that could ever exist. The Church gave us the Word of God Himself and the body and blood of His Son, Jesus Christ, to eat. To whomever finds himself in a state of grace, the church has also given us saints and martyrs. The church has always been persecuted, but never have been defeated. The church has given us the holy sacraments. She has given us baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, penance with confession, unction of the sick, order, and matrimony. The church has not been perfect, but because of that we should not abandon it. In the 12th century, the church was beaten and almost demolished, but St. Francis of Assisi didn't opt for abandoning it. Instead, he landed his shoulders to sustain what was left of it. And it was like this that he cured her illnesses. The church in these moments is suffering. And from within, the devil has been devouring it. And like in old days, the church is in crumbles. It is time today to lend ourselves a shoulder to sustain a corner of it. So we may hug her and kiss her like St. Francis did to her. The church is Jesus, and like him, the church has had its glorious days. It has been triumphant, like, just like Jesus on Palm Day. When he entered the temple, everyone sheared at him and worshipped him with praise. But when the church now is disfigured and destroyed, we now give our backs to her with joy. Jesus himself was disfigured from his beautiful face no one could even recognize him with all the blood on his face but that didn't make his mother or saint john and magdalene leave him and abandoning him no the contrary the more jesus was beaten the more they wanted to stay the more disfigured the more comfort they wanted to offer him but without touching him for that would have hurt him more. Exactly, that is the state of the church, beaten and disfigured on its way to crucifixion. So then should we abandon her out of fear, just like Peter and the apostles did? Or should we follow the Virgin Mary, John the Apostle, and Magdalene, who maintained firm and accompanied Jesus during the worst? Until Jesus gave his soul to the Father, and with that he expired. Brothers and sisters, the Catholic Church is suffering the same Calvary Jesus went through. And the Church is on its way to her crucifixion. Like Jesus himself, she will have to expire too. But just as Jesus resurrected on the third day, our mother, the church too, will resurrect and will be bright and triumphant like you never knew. So let's pray for our mother, the church, for she is suffering and needs us too. I hope you really liked it. May God bless you and I'll see you next video. And viva Cristo Rey!